Hey guys, it is day three and I have some ideas that I wanted to show you on something that we're going to be working on today. I've got um, one of our guys working on implementing that new UI that I showed you yesterday. And today I had, I just had this idea like in the middle of the night. Um, we have done for our local YMCA, we've done a progressive web app for some of their challenges. And a progressive web app is kind of like uh, an app that uh, acts like an app on a mobile phone. So um, the browser Chrome goes away and, uh, and it, it's, there's a home screen icon. Uh, it prompts itself to install on your phone. But the beauty of it is it works on any kind of device. It works on a Android device. It works on iOS. Um, it works on the web. It works across the board. And so I had this idea in the middle of the night that we could make a progressive web app for our prayer tool. And the way it would work is uh, we would have um, your, prayer your, your prayer request list app that you just open up on your phone. And then you can run through the list. And as you pray for them on a daily basis, you can check them off and they'll be marked off as checked. Um, and then every day, those check marks will go away. They won't be permanently stored or anything. So it would be like your daily prayer checklist, okay? And I want this app to do two things. First, I want it to uh, have your personal list. So you can add prayer requests that are just for you. And it can be your personal list, but also for it to pull in the prayer request from your church. And so I had this idea. I just kind of threw this design together. Uh, I... I did this, my designer didn't do this, and I'm gonna have him uh, play with it some today. Um, but this is what I was thinking, just a an app that you open on your phone, and then you have all of the prayer requests from both yourself and your church, and you can toggle uh, between personal prayer request and church prayer request. You can arrange it uh, by time, so like the most recent ones first, or in alphabetical order. You can filter it down by categories. You can search through it. And when you click on one, then you have a detail view um, where you can see more details uh, and you can mark it as prayer, you know, mark it as completed. You mark it as completed from here as well. And then you'll be able to add it, uh, just information about the prayer request. And you'll also be able to choose whether you want to share this prayer request with your church. Of course, then it will go into simple church tools and be approved um, by the church staff before it goes on the church list for everybody to view. Of course, uh, this will have a password. So when you first log in, you know, you'll put your church-wide password in there. Um, and uh, yeah, so just thought that this is a really cool idea I just had in the middle of the night. I'd love to see um, what you guys think and get your ideas about it. Other thing I wanted to show you is I... Uh, I have been reading a book recently that has really been a blessing, and it's called On Being a Pastor by um, Derek Prime and Alistair Begg. Somebody sent me this. Uh, I used to have a, a sermon podcast, a preaching, not a preaching podcast with just me preaching, but a podcast about preaching where I interviewed a bunch of pastors. It's called The Foolishness of Preaching. You can still get the archives online. And uh, because of that, people, you know, I've got friends all over the country and from time to time they send me books and somebody thought that I would enjoy this book and sent it to me. And honestly, it sat on my shelf for a long time. And I've just, as after I read my Bible in the morning and my devotions, I've been trying to take some time and read this and it's really been helping me. Um, it's really, really good. It's kind of some deep reading. It's, you know, it's not like a purpose-driven kind of thing or anything. It's just, it's just about being a pastor and um, really helpful. Recommend it. Check it out. All right. So that's my, uh, my update for the day and uh, I will have more to show you tomorrow.